there's a squishy pink object inside of our skull. It's pretty important for how we get through our day. But what do we really know about our body's most complex organ? Let's take a look. Let's talk about three major components of the brain. So the first part of the... One second. So, the first part of the brain that develops is called the brain stem. And that's back here, underneath this back end. And this part controls basic functions that we need to survive, like heart rate, respiration, and blood pressure. Pretty important stuff. The middle part of our brain, right here, is called the limbic system. And it's important for helping us navigate and manage the emotions that we feel throughout our body. An important part of the limbic system is called the amygdala, from the Greek word almond, because of its shape and size. The amygdala is the body's alarm system. Now it helps us navigate those moments of stress and fear and sends important signals throughout our body and our brain. The amygdala is really important. We're gonna come back to it again in a little bit. The most complex part of our brain is called the prefrontal cortex. It's right here in the front of our brain. It helps us to do things throughout our day like learn and think and remember and focus, things we use all the time. It's the last part of our brain to fully develop. In fact, it's under construction till the age of 25. Did you catch that? The part of the brain that helps us make good decisions isn't fully developed until adulthood. So the next time you see a kid or a teenager do something and you wonder, why would you do that? Part of the reason why is that their brain is still developing. So it's important to remind ourselves of that sometimes. Here's an important brain fact. When the middle part of our brain is in control, the amygdala, the almond, that alarm system, the part of our brain that controls the logical thinking part, that prefrontal cortex, it goes offline. So in moments of stress or fear or even surprise, the part of our brain that controls thinking stops working. Let's go ahead and demonstrate. So. You're driving along, minding your own business, when all of a sudden, somebody cuts you off. Your amygdala jumps in in that moment and helps you slam on the brakes. In that moment, you're not waiting for your prefrontal cortex to say, hey, step on the brakes. Your body does it almost automatically. This is one of those times where your body is pre-programmed to help keep you safe in those moments. But the amygdala, our alarm system, is not supposed to be calling the shots all the time. When there's no immediate threat or danger, our prefrontal cortex should be the one calling the shots. With kids, they may need some help from adults to support them in this process. Because remember, their brain is still developing. For one of the best strategies to help a kid calm down from an amygdala hijack, check out our video here about how to settle your glitter. One of the coolest things about our brain is that it never stops growing and changing. What that means is that you could be five or 105 and still learn new skills and habits. This changing of our brains is called neuroplasticity. So what that means is that your brain is kind of like plastic and you can shape and mold it into different things. And so over the course of our lifetime, our bones may stop growing, we might stop getting taller, but our brain can still learn new ideas and skills and habits that help us be more successful. 